So we'll move on now. Um, we will be having a short break in a moment, but we'll move on now um, to hear from Trisha Curry, who's the CEO of Women's Health on Mali. Uh, Trish is going to be speaking with us about um, the regional plan implementation across the Southern Mallee and what this means and looks like. Thanks, Trisha. Thanks very much, Bronwyn. And, um, thanks um, to both Tracy and Michelle, who've just done the most beautiful job of contextualising um, the work of the regional strategy and in turn, um, uh, allowing us to see how important the local place-based actions are. Michelle, I loved your reference to those thousand flowers blooming. So perhaps I might preface um, an introduction to the thinking around what the regional action plan can be. It can be those beautiful bunches of flowers that you get from those thousand flowers. So in other words, when we start to get that, um, the um, concept of actually working and aligning and linking through us that safe space that our regional action plan can hold so that we can have the conversations and share the good practice, create the evidence that informs the actions and it all contributes to that momentum which creates a beautiful bunch of flowers, Michelle, so you can actually see your investment um, is hitting the ground where people do know about their communities and do really um, want to not just want, but it's very having a very natural um, contribution to the momentum by innovating. So part of the regional action plan um, capability is to actually ensure that we're hearing what that um, innovation can be in a local place-based setting. So um, women's health, when we um, with, when we're looking at that regional strategy, it's um, enabling and informing also the advocacy for primary prevention. So thank you to both Tracy and Michelle for again, um, I think perhaps in this changing world, um, articulating how important primary prevention remains as we work through um, the impact on our communities um, of COVID-19. So what, the regional um, action plan allows us to really um, create and contribute to the way we sh are sharing, learning, growing, and growing that capability and culture throughout the region, which is based in primary prevention. Um, I'm not sure if there's just a, 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 a the if Eden's got the slide to come up. It's just a particular image, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't come up. But um, our regional strategy um, allows us to really bring um, that specialist, and we call it the gender lens, um, with the skills of the women's health team to local tables and networks. So um, we're, it's about how do we work together? How do we make sure that the thinking and the ideas um, are really well supported, um, not just by the evidence, but by the actions that are telling us what it looks like to be um, active in primary prevention in rural settings. Um, the regional strategy, you know, it can act, it can act like a roadmap um, and it allows, what does it look like? It can look like, you know, bystander, um, gender equity, intersectionality, managing resilience, development, you know, we're developing facilitated capabilities, um, uh, workplace equality and respect and we call them communities of practice, but really let's talk about that in the common language and that's the place and the space that's held for us to um, practice and to learn and to grow together um, so that we can uh, ensure that that primary prevention work is um, happening and that um, it's, it's actually generated from the way in which our local communities um, can activate it. The primary care partnerships are a really important platform in the regional um, strategy. The primary care partnerships do bring together um, opportunities for local network and local communities. So um, the specialisation that we bring, as we call it that, is um, uh, sitting at the table in those local communities with the partners. We're also able to, to do and to think about through our regional strategy, just what we're saying here now with COVID-19, what does that mean? We can draw on some beautiful work that's been happening over many years through the women's health sector, and that's the GADPOD or the Gender and Disaster Work. Um, its application into COVID-19 is, um, you know, it's, it's absolutely relevant and um, 
with a tremendous commitment from the Women's Health Services as we got together through the Gen Vic platform just yesterday on, a, uh, on a, what is going to become a very familiar platform of Zoom um, to consider those things that Michelle, that you were talking about there. You know, how do we ensure that um, every single part of the policy and response um, and the actions we take are considerate of the gender lens because of this really essential um, time to not only prevent violence against women, but to ensure that women are part of the decision making uh, that takes shape around the way we respond, plan and care for our communities through this. So really, where we're up to with the regional um, strategy itself, as in the document, uh, so many of you have been involved in contributing to the reimagining of the regional plan, and this has been really rich and pur purposeful in its process. So our current consideration is now how to create that space to invite your actions into this very strategic relationship, landscape and relationship so that we're ensuring that what um, sits across the state through Respect Victoria, through the Office for Women, through the Department of Health and Human Services um, is actually able to be activated right across our communities. Um, the variety and diversity of the partnerships um, that can engage in this safe space that the regional um, plan creates is immense. Um, you know, anything from um, our agricultural partners to our local government partners to those in health and community services, but those in sporting clubs and schools, etc. Um, it, is, it is the space and the place um, where we can do this work together. So that's probably as, not, as much as I need to say, given that the time's ticking on. Um, but, uh, wonderful to actually be able to have this opportunity to Zoom all together, uh, link up and connect, and make sure that we're all part of the, the momentum that we have been contributing to over some time, um, and make sure that we don't lose it through this critical time. Thanks a lot, Tricia. Is there any questions out there for Tricia? Nothing's come up through the chat. No. Well, thank you for providing that overview, Tricia, for the regional implementation plan and the importance of that work within the Southern Mallee PCP, particularly our working groups. Um, you did make a mention of some work that Women's Health have been doing um, for some time around emergency disaster response. Um, I'd be interested to you know, have that information come through all this work around COVID-19 as well. So thank you. 